So before we get started on this vlog, when editing this video, I noticed for the first 10 minutes I had black in my teeth and I realized that I'd been eating licorice before we started filming. I thought, oh, I don't want to get rid of all this footage. So I had brushed my teeth. I just had some licorice. So enjoy the vlog. We are going trick or treating. It's actually my first time ever trick or treating. Did you know that? It's because you didn't. God, look at my spooky jumper. Such I was going to try and say something really funny, and then I was like, oh God, front, I can't say any jokes around Because you lately. lived under a rock. I literally did live under a rock, like in the middle of nowhere in Wales growing up. I remember all my school friends talking about trick or treating, and ba honest. basically, trick or treating would have involved like moving, like walking a mile to the next country house. That would have been spooky. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? I never did it either because I don't think it was a thing. My mum never really liked Halloween and I went to a Christian school so it was Bit like... too scary. It, you, you, don't, you don't celebrate evil. <laughs> Not anymore. Evil. So yeah, we're going to our, our best friend. She lives in Hampstead and apparently they go to town like American style Halloween. So this is all going to be our all our first experience of trick or treating. If you're wondering what that shh sound is, it's basically white noise. It's taken me eight weeks to discover that that is the one thing that actually works to help settle Rebel. Like, I started doing it yesterday and it's just been a miracle. And I'm like annoyed why I didn't do that before. But maybe it's just because she's more settled. Who knows? No, she's a totally different baby to what she yeah, was she's totally two weeks ago. I know. It's incredible. Incredible. So grateful. So grateful. Oh my god, they're all going in the streets. I so love fun. it. It's so fun. Fun to live in an area like this. I know. Fun to... I've um, put Rebel here. Rio's got his bucket and his bus. Oh, we've got a little cat. You look so cool, Rio. Nikki, do you look like Paris Hilton? Nice. Like oh my god, it's like Paris Hilton. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rio, turn around. <laughs> this is so fun, it feels like Christmas. I've honestly never experienced this before. Who knew this was so much fun? Hi, happy Halloween! 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 Oh, now your bucket's oh, broken. Halloween! Hi! 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 Show me! What have you got, Rio? Sweet, show me. Oh my god! I press the button. Woo! Wow! Happy Halloween! Ah! Uh, yes. So, everyone, how is your Halloween trick or treat? Halloween it's ever. feel like so American. It does, it does feel very yeah. American. Like when we're knocking on the doors, the people are American that are yeah, really are. getting involved. I love that. And I just, it makes me want one of those houses so I can do it. I want to live in Hampstead. Rio, how many chocolates and sweets have you got? One. Wow. Oh. But he's just so cute. He's like, happy Halloween. I and know. He goes to the door. <laughs> I think it's that dinosaur up. song he's been listening to. Yeah. He to say it. Thank you. Hello, my absolute darlings. Welcome back to day two. Oh, Rio. That looks delicious. 
We're going to talk through the colours. What can you see, Rio? Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. What colour are they? Out. They are yellow. Is they yellow? Yellow. What colour is that? What are this? It's cheese sandwiches. Yum. So Stuart's gonna do a workout. Yeah, I'm doing a workout. Francis has already been for a workout this morning. Sorry we didn't like include you in that. It's just that Rio woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. I so am at every point that I need a nap already. I, I am just buying Rio this for his birthday from Etsy. Oh. So he's gonna have that for his birthday. And I mean, looking ahead, we're actually just looking at booking Christmas dinner today. Yeah, we're booking Christmas dinner. Yeah. We're going to go, we kind of think it's going to be just us as a family. Yeah. So we're going to go we down told, the road. What we haven't said on here yet is that we're going to be doing Vlogmas again this year, which we're really yeah. excited about. We're really excited. Even if you don't watch it, it's just for yeah. us to be able to go back when With we're granddads. We've been watching last year's ones over oh, again. It's just so, so cute. cute. What we're going to tell, well, after Stuart's workout, we're going to tell you more about the preparation for the birthday, like what we've got planned. Like what? What? How this the house set out is going to be. So one thing I, I did we haven't told you is we obviously did this um, picture on Instagram. I don't know if you can see that. We did a Peter Pan inspired Halloween picture, and obviously we go to town. It was only our second one, but last year we went to town, and then this year we went to town with the same person that does like it's a friend who like makes it look all magical. And anyhow, we posted that photo and then gazed with kids was an Instagram page, messaged us and said, oh, we need to enter that photo, we love it. Entered the photo and we won. Overall winner, Stuart and Francis. I actually can't quite believe it. When they messaged us to say, you've won $400, I was like, oh my God, this is just epic. So we are thrilled. I think my PT is here, ready to work out. <laughs> Go find puddles. Yeah. You fell in the puddle. You fell in the puddle, didn't you? Silly Billy, look at you. You're wet. You're all. Darlings, that is the my workout done for the day. Oh God, I feel really, um, like it's getting there. <laughs> I haven't basically worked out in such a long time that, yeah, I can really feel it in my body, which is great. France has gone out to walk the dog and taken both kids with him, which is just a joy, which means I've got the house by myself for this split second. So I wanted to show you the fun I had whilst going to Westfield the other day. Oh my god, I've bought so many nice bits for Rebel. I feel like it's like literally almost it's like a super supermarket. So there was three shops that I shopped at in Westfield because usually my go-to is Zara. I love Zara for kids, I love Zara for me and Francis. Actually Zara didn't pull through, it had some great boy stuff, but I was mainly looking for Rebel. And so this is what I got next. Oh my god. No word of a lie. I was walking around next going, this is incredible. They had so many nice bits. So when they're so young and you're like holding them all the time, they can't sit up by themselves. I really don't want to dress them in too many like bits and pieces. So that's why I bought this little tracksuit, little pink tracksuit from Next, which I just absolutely loved. Love that. Get a big bow on top of that. Then I just, just look how cute this is. I was trying to get as many th thrills as possible. Then this, I absolutely saw this and I was like, you are a little winner. Then this like for an everyday look, you know. I don't know what she's gonna look like in red because she hasn't got like the most olivey kind of skin. I'm gonna give her a go. Just thought, just try different colors. This little jumper I just absolutely loved with a little hello world. This little black dress, I thought that was cute. Cream tights, red tights, 
to go with the red dress and the black dress. Again, this is my first time dressing a girl, so I'm not like, need like as much advice as possible because I, when it came to Rio, I knew exactly what I was putting him in and I felt really, really confident. Whereas with dressing a girl, it's a different vibe. So I definitely am learning on the job. Monsoon I loved as well. Bryland was my third shop of choice. And I got this, this, <laughs> this made me laugh when I bought it. I just like a little gelée, a little faux fur gelée. I just think I saw that and I was like, oh my God, that is hysterical. I love it. So that's what she's wearing tomorrow. Wee. Then I've got these little jumpers as well, little hat. So she is ready and she's kitted out for the next couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, depends on how fast she grows. But yeah, and then on to Rio's birthday. So we're gonna have like this massive train track that goes over where we had the Halloween photos. So all over here will be a train track, hopefully. And all the way up here, train tracks, balloons, Rio signs here, then inside, so then we're gonna have going through the whole house, this train track, basically like this, but not wooden, going around the whole house so all the kids can literally like get their own trains and go around the whole house. There'll obviously be tall ones, there'll be, it'll be so, so much fun. I'm really hoping last year the sun shone and everyone was outside, if we could have um, trains going all over the decking, all around the decking, that would be like my idea of heaven. But obviously we've had a storm here and it's November, so I'm not expecting too much, but something along those lines, I would be thrilled with. So I'm gonna go and get into my pajamas. <laughs> Ready for bed on a Friday night. <laughs> oh! So we are literally ready now to go to Soho House. We're at Soho Farmhouse and we're here for the fireworks and we're very excited because I can see a little fairground in the distance and I think Rio is gonna absolutely love. Like a... Have you been to these before? Yes. The last time I came was a bit morbid. The what? last time I came was the day before. Dad or died. Two days before my dad died. Yeah. Oh my god. My dad. I can remember getting a text from my mum saying, um, "Your dad's gone down to the basement. The basement's where they oh, want no. to die." So I've never been before. So I'm really excited because I love the way Soho House do stuff. It's like just so cool. So really excited. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna take you as long as much as we can because you're not technically allowed to film. So we'll, we'll capture bits. For you. I've only just gone and forgotten her ear defender things that she used to wear for the fireworks. But honestly, leaving the house just for a day to go somewhere, just to even go to the park, you've got to think about so many things. It's so annoying.
Fantastic. Good time. Such a good time. Rio, Let's see if we can get these kids home in one. Have a good time. Oh. Just on our way home. I want to stay. <laughs> I want to stay. That sounds so fun. I know. <laughs> Rio, you sure you don't want to stay? Too tired. Too tired. Yeah. We are stars in the sky. You can see Venus even on the camera. stupidly chose to wear white shoes to a fireworks night in a field. Great. Great choice. In true Stuart Francis style right now, literally you're getting these videos like bang on time just because we're just so busy and I don't have much time to edit with the two kids. So I've just been editing all afternoon this afternoon that you're watching this video and now I'm just gonna go upstairs and rescue Stuart from, from two kids. But you have to see them because they're so cute, so come with me. Hello, are you Are you okay? I'm tired. So family, all that's left to say is, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel because over 70% of you watch this YouTube, watch our YouTube haven't subscribed so oh it would mean goodness. the world to us if you have 70% is a lot and next week we are going to bring you a video probably a day later because Rio's birthday is on the Sunday and we want to capture his birthday for you so the video will probably most likely come out on Monday but it's your birthday next it's week it's your birthday party on Sunday should we practice burning out the candles blow <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is this is just. Uh, I was thinking today. I've done anything today, and then I thought, do you know what? I have. I've been attacked. <laughs> anyway, this will blow kisses. Bye. Bye. You blow them kiss. Give her a kiss. Bye. Bye bye. I love you. Bye.